The next question comes from moneyb 22 on the same video, the same ironite video I posted earlier today. And it says, quick question. When applying foliar iron, I'm assuming it should not be watered in, but when is it safe to water after application typically? Those are very practical questions. And I, and I, I appreciate that question. I told him I would address it tonight. So my response was, let me click on this and see if it comes up. My response was great question. I will also address this tonight. I would wait until the next day, but if you wait four to six hours, you should be okay. Now with iron, my response is largely anecdotal. Okay. Largely, not completely, largely. I know from my experience, having done this dozens of times that if I put out iron, foliar iron sulfate or foliar iron gluconeptinate or foliar iron EDTA or any of the foliar uh, soluble iron sources in the morning, say nine, 10 in the morning, if there's no dew on the grass and I can get it off and it's dry and spread on there, I'll see a response before I go home at 5 PM happens every time. As long as you do the right rate and you do the right volume of spray and all that stuff, it happens virtually every time I've never done it. I don't, I've never done it and it didn't show response. Let me say that. So it's anecdotal. I'd never done a timed uh, study where I actually measured the amount of time it took to see, see the maximum response. But other people have done that on other elements like nitrogen. So let me bring up this article. <clears throat> This article is one of the better articles I can even think of on foliar nitrogen uptake. This is an article published by Chris Stiegler, Dr. Richardson, and Dr. Karcher. These two guys here, where's my marker? These guys deserve a marker. These two guys here are rock stars in the turf grass industry. Dr. Karcher is now at Ohio State. Dr. Richardson is still at Arkansas. And hopefully I can get one of these two guys on here because they're uh, immensely knowledgeable. Chris Stiegler was also a rock star. Unfortunately, he had an accident and um, is no longer with us. But uh, they did a lot of really good work for the short time Chris was with us. And this is one of his papers. In this paper, there is a, there is a graph. And I'm going to show that right here. This graph, for those listening, is figure one, no, I'm sorry, the article, let me, let me type the title. The title is Foliar Nitrogen Uptake Following Your Reapplications to Putting Green Turf Grass Species. This was published in 2011 in Crop Science. So this is one of our top tier journals, if not the top tier journal for all practical purposes for turf grass science, that's our top tier journal. And you go down to figure one and it has creeping bent grass and Bermuda grass. And we're gonna see a figure with the lines and the, the X axis, we have time from zero to 25 hours with N15 labeled urea. And we have N recovered in plants as a percent of applied on the Y axis. And we will notice from zero time to one hour, we're gonna see 50, 40, 50% of the nitrogen be taken up in the first hour after application of foliar urea to Bermuda grass about 40% taken up in the first hour to foliar applied to greeping bent grass. So we have a cool season grass and a warm season grass. This line starts to bend over heavily at this point. So the maximum uh, uptake occurred probably around somewhere between five and 10 hours it starts to flatten off on Bermuda grass and sometime or probably around five, 10 hours, something like that. It really starts to bend over and you know, and really plateau off at about 50%, 60% in creeping bent grass. So this is not iron. This is urea. It's very different, but based upon my experience with iron, seeing a response, if I put it out at nine or 10 in the morning, I'm going to see a response by three or four in the afternoon, very consistently. I'm going to see that one to five pounds of iron per acre with soluble iron. You're going to see that based upon this research where you're looking at soluble N15 labeled urea actually being taken up into the plant, almost all the urea that's going to be taken into the plant is going to be taken into the plant in the first one hour after application. Okay. Total max was about 55% going into Bermuda grass and about uh, maybe a little more going into bent grass, but about the same, about 50 to 55% of the nitrogen was taken up total. The majority of that occurred in the first hour. Okay. So that is that along with my anecdotal observations, which I don't like to rely upon, but I don't have anything else to rely upon when it comes to iron uptake. 
that's the reason why I told the, the, the person who made that comment, who, uh, where was it? Where it was, uh, money B 22, you know, how, how long is it safe? When is it safe to water after applying the foliar iron? I told him I would wait till the next day, but if you wait four to six hours, you're probably okay. That's the reason. So my response is largely anecdotal because I, I've done it so many times I've seen it, but I could be wrong. I don't like to rely upon anecdotes. I don't rely, like to rely upon observations, but if I know urea will be taken up in the first hour, majority will be taken up the first hour if applied foliarly. It's a different element. It's not charged. Urea is not charged. Iron is charged. It's different situation, but leads me to have a little bit of confidence in saying for four to six hours, you're probably fine. You can water, you can apply water four to six after hours after you apply iron. But if you wait till the next day, just wait till the next day, you're fine.